was not it was not cast Australian. It was just I mean I don't know what the action. I don't know what the expectation was. It was mm. probably a Canadian coming down to because that was what the original right. pitch was. But um, yeah, it just worked out that the producers found out that I was Australian and we, we tried it like this and, mm-hmm. and it worked out. Yeah. I mean, because why not? There's, well, right. there's just as many Australians in Hollywood as there are Canadians or anybody else. True, true. So when we first meet Connor, he's we don't realize how flawed he is, I think, in the yeah. pilot. I mean, we get a sense of, you know, it might be lonely at the top, mm-hmm. and he's the only one of his friends right now at the top, but as the series goes on, obviously, more and more comes out. So what was the most rewarding thing for you about the journey that you took in the first six episodes and what you learned about him? I think uh, being able to explore that, exactly that. It's lonely at the top, mm-hmm. and, but it's not, it's not so simple as that. Connor is already deeply... He's damaged, so he's, he's very anxious and insecure. Mm-hmm. So already going into that, into a situation where you're, there's a lot of demands put on him, he, uh, he just starts to crumble. Um, but I'm glad that it, it comes across that way, that in the first couple episodes it looks like, you know, here's a guy who things are just falling into place, you know? It's, it's all working out. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's, you can never know exactly what's going on inside a person. Yeah. And I, I think we get a good sense because as the episodes go on, we see a little bit of his backstory through that dream. Yeah. That sh- is that a hundred percent how things went? A memory, or is it a little yeah, bit yeah. of a dream? Okay. Uh, I, it was it was meant to be flashbacks, right. like remembering you know his home life as, as a kid. Because I mean, you are the only character that we really get that insight into at this yeah. point in the story. So do you, I mean, is that something that you you knew the entire time? No, when I got the job, it was just all I'd been told was Connor has some kind of secret, some dark past, something to do with his father. And then when we got to the table read, and I got to read the full extent mm-hmm. of what we were going to do, uh, it was it was a surprise, but it was exciting. Mm-hmm. It was just it was shocking. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, because he has so much on his plate as yeah, it is. Yeah. And one of the things that I think, obviously, the fans always gravitate to are the the relationships on the show. Absolutely. And you know, kind of. They'll ship you with Abby. They'll ship you with Raquel as well. Yeah. If you, for the next 13 episodes, had your say, do you have someone you think is a good match for Connor, or do you think he's maybe needs to work on himself first? I well, that's a good question. <laughs> Connor always needs to work on himself, <laughs> but the problem is, I just don't think he's going to. Mm. Um, so he's going to continue to to reach out to find women that can. You know, satisfy uh, stopping that emptiness, stopping mm. that um, anxiety he feels. I think it would be nice to. I think he's going to give it a shot with as many as he can. He's going to try. <laughs> he's going to really try. Okay. Um, so I haven't read read them yet, so I don't know exactly which direction it's going. But I know that each of those that you mentioned, mm-hmm. Abby and Raquel, they're both. Um, they both bring very different things yeah. to Connor's life and both things that he wants and needs. So it will be interesting to see whether he can can work himself out to, mm-hmm. to make it work with one of them. Or maybe maybe someone else will come on to the scene. Well, it seems like, I mean, he tries a lot of things in the first few episodes to fill that void and nothing really works well. Yeah. What would you say works better than others? Because we've seen, you know, we saw the pills, the alcohol, the women. Is there anything that's a little bit satisfying for not him? Not really, because it's all so temporary. Mm-hmm. All of, no matter what he tries, it's, it's, it, it helps him in the moment, but then when he wakes up, it's straight back to square one, and he needs, he needs another idea, another plan, um, which is exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But I mean, as, as he does get more famous, because the show is taking off, and yeah. he is a, a star, he yeah. is the star, I mean, will, could that be one of those things for him, like the fame and the adoration of strangers? Uh, it, it could be, and I think Connor is the type of guy who might perhaps make mistakes mm-hmm. and get sucked into that, you know, the, the fame and, mm-hmm. and people wanting a piece of him, so that's danger that he has to look out for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we talk about the, the tea kettle for a second? Sure. Because that was really hard to watch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is this is this something that is a 
should we expect more and more of this behavior? Like, is is that something that he's done since he was younger? I think I think that's something that, and I, I talked with some people who have gone through that in their lives, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's probably something that may have happened by accident. Okay. And he realized that there was a rush of relief of, of just a moment of peace, a okay. moment of calm, um, and it's probably that's the situation. It, he's worked out that that helps and hopefully he doesn't need to do it very often and I think as he's gotten older he's gotten a little better and okay. was prescribed with some some medication to try and help keep him under control but um, I wouldn't be surprised if you know he continues to revert back mm -hmm. you know when things get really too much is that something you know that you want to see happen for the next batch of episodes that you want to see him continue to struggle or do you want to see him kind of get back on the medication and be okay for a little while I mean both I guess it's it would be nice to see him try and get a handle on on himself, mm -hmm. but also he's he's such a mess that he's got a long way to go. So I think he's definitely going to continue to struggle for a while. Can Connor move back to the Lux and and be with his friends? And is that something that I think that's he... you know that's what he would love. Mm -hmm. He wants he needs to be around people, and he even tries. I think in in the. Episode five, mm -hmm. maybe it was six. He, when he goes you back. know, he comes back to the hotel and he, and he wants to have his old room back because he know he, he got used to and he understood life like that mm -hmm. with all of his friends around him. There were so many distractions and he didn't have to be alone with his thoughts. So um, I think he would want nothing more than to than to be with people. Mm -hmm. So so maybe he'll uh, could be, bunk with Nick and Abby. Could be, he could, he's definitely going to have to bunk with someone for a while. <laughs> And the relationship with Nick, I mean, in the beginning of the season, they really were, it seemed like they were best buds, you know, you got yeah. Nick a job on his yeah. show, and then whether it was because of the fame or for whatever reason, they started to drift a little bit apart. Yeah, I think um, that's exactly right. They're good friends, but Nick also has his own dreams and his own mm -hmm. things that he's pursuing, and so he's not as available as perhaps Connor would have, would have liked. You know, he kind of reaches out a couple times, trying to call him, and it's straight to voicemail. And it just keeps reinforcing the fact that, you know, nobody really gives a shit about Connor. Nobody mm -hmm. really cares. And that's what just keeps sending him further down and down. Mm -hmm. um, Which is so weird, because usually when you're the first one of your friends to be famous, everyone flocks to you. And yeah. it's like, hand out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Joe is very true to Hollywood, to the Hollywood experience. All the, the little things that I think a lot of people will watch and will say, like, oh, that can't possibly happen. Like when Raquel goes to AA to network and, yeah. and, ex and et cetera. Um, is there something that, you know, in the first six that you were filming that you were like, oh my God, that rings so true. I had that happen to me or I've seen that happen in my life trying to get work so, in this business? So many things. Abby living in her car. I have so many friends who live in their car. I've, um, I've not known how to pay rent at the end of the week. Borrowing from family, mm -hmm. or just you know, flat out not paying credit cards back until <laughs> right. You know, it's uh, particularly the pilot. I think was very was very true to mm -hmm. people struggling just to be here because mm -hmm. that's the most important thing. If you if you're trying to succeed, it's about just being here. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, a lot of it a lot of it rung true for me. So what was it about Connor that and and the pilot itself that made you say, oh my god, this guy is my guy? Well, like I said, the um, I didn't know a whole lot about how far we were going to go, mm. so I, I couldn't see that far in advance. I just thought that um, I knew that there was going to be something wrong, that something was going to unravel with his, his dark past and something with his family, and I knew that that was going to be interesting to see that play out. Mm. Um, so I guess it was that. I knew that it was not going to be as... As peachy as it seems, you know, <laughs> hit show, he's right. flying. I knew it was not going to turn out, um, you know, so well. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's My great pleasure. to meet you.